Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves and today is going to be a, another comparison shave but also uh, following one of the viewers suggestions um, has a theme to it. Uh, I think last video or the last shave I asked you guys what kind of um, shave you guys want to see in this channel and I think Linguafile uh, he mentioned um, like using the oldest products out there so I kind of did a spin-off on that and decided to go with some uh, older classic Italian products. Um, so yeah, starting off, it's going to be going with the Parasso Green Pre-Shave along with the Parasso Green Shave Cream. One of my favorite scents out there. I already got it lathered up using the Captain Choice Bowl and this uh, Omega Pro. 48 brush, a huge bore brush, but uh, still enjoyable to work with. I right, got that lathered up, and for the shave today, I'm gonna be comparing uh, two similar razors. This is the Fatip razors, Fatip Piccolo, with that um, short, kind of a dense handle, versus the Fatip Open Comb Slant, Lo Storto. This is the um, similar to a Grande handle, but Got a slant over there. As you can see, there's a bit of a difference. This one's a slant, this, is, this one isn't, but they are both open combs, and I think the blade exposure is pretty similar. And I would say even the blade gap is uh, pretty similar here. But I'm gonna be testing these out today. Um, seeing, I'm gonna try to see the difference between a slant and a non slant, and yeah, try to. Figure that out. I think both of them are efficient to my liking. I enjoy them both, but um, I think the feel is slightly different on each one. But that said, I think, yeah, that is gonna be the shave for today. Let me just wet the face and then get it going. <clears throat> All right, let's use up some of this Parasso Green pre shave. Ooh, I love the menthol in this. Very enjoyable. And I just, I love the fresh, refreshing, fresh, refreshing uh, scent to this. Just gonna apply it on the face. I think you can also use this as a post, like a aftershave balm or something. But for today, I'll just be using it as a pre shave. It's got a slightly oily texture to it, maybe like a butter, but I do enjoy it a lot. Let's get it worked in. <clears throat> it's got a good amount of menthol to it. I would say a little more than the regular Parazzo soap or cream. And it's very enjoyable. All right, I got a Two days of growth today, a little bit more to work with, and yeah, let's get going. <clears throat> Alright, I already got the Parasho, Parasho Green Shade Cream worked in here. Looking pretty nice, and let's get, it, get lathering here. I'm going to put some more water on the face, and then get on lathering. And I already put in quite a bit of water to this cream, so I don't think I need to add more. I mean, I can. I can always add more water, but do I want to? <clears throat> Let me just work that in. For some reason, I prefer the Parasso Green Cream to the soap. It just works a little better and is less drying on my skin for some reason. As you can see, it's building up quite nicely. 
even though this is not a artisan product. I'm sure they he started out as a small artisan, but at this point, they're a global shading vendor slash brand. All right, it's looking slightly dry. Uh, it's got some good peaks to it, but uh, the texture is a bit too stiff for my liking. So I'm gonna add some more water here. <clears throat> hmm. A little more. very enjoyable. There's plenty of leather to work with. Mm. <clears throat> I really enjoyed the the handle to this brush actually it felt a little light and cheap at first because it is a it feels like a hollow aluminum but the more i use it i do enjoy the lightness of the handle and just overall very enjoyable to work with but uh yeah excellent leather there not the densest out there but it's plenty dense for me and let's get going let's clean it up a bit all right, so Fatip Piccolo, the non-slant, compared to the Fatip Open Comb Slant. They're both open comb, but just one of them is slant, the other one's not. Start with the Piccolo here. On the right side, here we go, first pass through with the, the grain. I got it both paired with the Astra SP blade on its first use. Here we go. Ooh, very enjoyable. I definitely feel the efficiency on it. Good bit of blade feel. Overall, very enjoyable. All right, that was the side with the Piccolo. Let's go on the left side with the Open Comb Slant, the Los Torto. Also paired with the Astra SP on its first use, first pass with the green. Hmm. They feel very similar. It's kind of hard to tell. Plenty of ladder <laughs> trapped under the razor. Interesting. They feel very similar. I think the slant feels slightly smoother for some reason. Maybe it's the angle. 
kind of that guillotine kind of action. Um, it feels like it's going through the hitter a little smoother than the Piccolo, but very small difference. Let me uh, rinse up, go for a second pass. Efficiency wise, on the first pass, it it feels pretty much the same. All right, here we go. Second pass through. Let's lather up. Got plenty on the brush here. <clears throat> mm. It's already worked in from the first pass, so no need to scrub and work it in. Oh, man, this Parasu Green scent is one of my favorites in wet shading. I would say goes under goes on the top three scents for me. So fresh, so refreshing. Why am I repeating that? <laughs> I just love the eucalyptus scent and a bit of menthol. Man, it's really lifts up your mood during the shave. All right, here we go across the grain with the piccolo. Second pass through. Yeah, a good bit of blade feel there. Even though from the Blade exposure and the blade gap, it looks mild, but it's got a fair bit of uh, aggression to it. All right. That was an excellent second pass with the Piccolo. Let me go with the Lo Sporto open comb plant on the left side. Here we go. Yeah, it feels a bit smoother than the Piccolo. They're cutting very similarly. but it just feels slightly smoother. I think it's because of that slant action. Like that. We both are feeling great so far. All right, that was an excellent second pass with the slant. Let me rinse up and check it out. All right, a bit of cream left there. Decent residual slickness. All right, let's check out the efficiency. Huh. Very similar. Hard to tell. Yeah, I think both sides feel very similar. So far, efficiency wise, they're doing about the same job. So let's test it out on the against the grain, see how that goes. So, only difference so far is that the slant feels a little smoother. That's about it. Got plenty left for the final, not the final, but for clean up pass. Here we go. Oh man. Got plenty left here. Mm. 
And you can use a little bit more water too. So let me just add some more water there. All right. Wow. I'm loving this cream, the scent. Performance is decent. It's working well. Slick. Let's go against the grain on the right side with the piccolo. Here we go. Stretch a bit. Alright, and let's go on the other side with the slant, Los Porto. <clears throat> hmm. It sounds a little different too. The blade feedback. Oh, you caught on one of the hairs there. And stretch a bit. All right. That feels great so far. Let me rinse up and compare them. All right. Let's see here. Uh, efficiency wise, very similar. I feel a slight irritation on my neck here on the slant side, but I think I might have put too much pressure. Might be my fault. There's still some hair left. I need to go directly south to north. But yeah, efficiency wise, both are feeling similar. All right, let me go for one more cleanup pass. Here we go. Got plenty on the brush. It should be good after this cleanup pass. All right, against the green. Well, let's go uh, across the green on the neck here. All right, that should be fine. Ah, let's stretch a bit. All right, that feels pretty good. Go on the other side with a slant, and that should be the end of the shave. A little touch up here and there. All right. So let's do some skin stretching.
All right, I think that'll do it. Let me rinse up and compare the results. Uh, oh man, that feels like a great shave. Even with the little irritation here, I think it feels pretty good. All right, compare. That's the BBS on both sides. BBS on the neck. The skin is not as moisturized as I like compared to like artists themselves, but it doesn't feel dry. It just feels neutral uh, on the corners of the mouth. Looks clean. Yep, just a comfortable BBS shave all around. I got to this result going through a two pass shave and two cleanups going against the grain and yeah, very similar efficiency between the two. I guess I'll wrap it up. Um, slant feels a little smoother. I think it's the guillotine action, but both of them got me to the same result using pretty much the same strokes. Um, yeah, efficiency wise, they both feel pretty efficient. Uh, feel wise, the slant feels slightly smoother. That's about it. Um, they both feel, uh, I, I feel the blade on both. Uh, I would say they're at least medium aggressive for me if not inching towards the high aggressive side. But yeah, that was an excellent shave today. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling much irritation. I don't see any nicks or cuts. So let me just rinse up and uh, apply the alum to tighten the skin. All right, feels great. Love the cross green scent, as I've mentioned before. All right, razor rock alum block here. Let me test it out. All right, a little bit of sting on the mustache. Yeah, a little bit of sting on the chin. A little bit on the neck. Huh. I would say I didn't get a, a lot of feedback, but a fair bit can be noticeable or not. So I wouldn't say it's the best shave I've gotten, but uh, definitely a good one. All right. Excellent shave today. Um, had a little bit more feedback than I expected, but it wasn't a crazy amount. Just a little bit more sting around my usual spots. But as I said, this video is getting pretty long. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this was a classic Italian shave. We, uh, using the Parasso Cream, Omega Boar Brush, and the Fatigue Razors. I uh, compared the slant to the non-slant. They feel very similar. Um, slam feels a bit more uh, smooth, but the efficiency wise and the shave wise, they both got the job done. And the Allen Block uh, feedback pretty much was the same all around. Just a little bit more feedback than I would like, but still a good shave nonetheless. So thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shaves and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.